Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A06 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the very first time you should be presented with the screen that you can see on my end which is the welcoming screen and right here where I have the little arrow pointing down you can select your desired language so click on it find the language that you want to use from the list for me that is going to be English give it a moment there we go and next we can go to the next page so here we have some for your review like end user license agreement and privacy policy don't worry about the last one it is optional uh, never agree to anything that is optional. Uh, now, additionally, you can also tap on details to read exactly what you are agreeing to. Next, we're going to click on agree and move over to the next page. Now, I want to point out uh, for me, this setup will differ just a bit because I did reset the device uh, in a way that forces me to verify that I'm the legitimate user of it. So I will be required to connect to network. On your end you might not be required to connect to network and anyway moving back here we have easy setup with another uh, device so you can go through this if you want it gives you a pretty simple guide to follow but i'm not going to utilize this i'm just going to set it up manually choose a wi-fi network an authorized attempt uh, has been made to restore your device so this is what i was referring to that i need to verify it typically you wouldn't see that pop up if you do and you're not the uh, you're the first user of this device. Return the device. Anyway, um, I'm gonna connect to network right now as I am required to do so. Now this step right here will take a little bit longer for me than it most likely took for you, uh, as it is right now conduct, uh, connecting to Google servers just to see. Um, what kind of verification all that stuff needs to be verified and so on so this typically doesn't take as long as as it does when the device is locked so here is the verification portion which on your end you should not be seeing I'm going to draw my pattern to unlock the device and this will now, I presume, take me to the Google login page and it did. So this is what you would typically see instead of the verification. So here you can just sign into your Google account if you want to or you can skip it if you don't want to connect to it at all. Next we have copy apps and data. This is using, I think, Google account. So we can do so though it does give me the vibe of like Samsung cloning uh, application. If you select next, it will tell you which one. So anyway, I don't plan to copy anything. So I'm just going to select don't copy, which means that I'm going to be setting the device as a new one. Next, we have sign into Google again for some reason. So again, I'm going to skip this. Here we have some Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can disable all of those, but it's from Google. So let's be honest, they will find a way to gather data one way or another and with or without your permission. Next, we have protect your device or phone, and we have a couple of ways of going about it. So we have pin, pattern, password, and also fingerprint and face recognition. If you're planning to use any of the biometrics, meaning the fingerprint or face recognition, you will always be required to select pin, pattern, or password. And the reason for that is if something would ever happen to your biometrics, you would lose access to the device. So hence, that leaves you with the pin, pattern, and password, which doesn't really change depending on your biometrics being read correctly or not. You can also not protect your device at all, though I don't recommend it. Here we have Samsung account, so uh, one account, uh, any device, just for you. You can sign into Samsung account if you want to, but if you don't care about this, which probably majority of us will not, I just recommend skipping it. It's absolutely redundant and Samsung will do some like reverse psychology on you right here. So uh, number one, they do hide the ability for you to not log in by uh, clicking forget password. Uh, and then you have the option uh, at the bottom set up later in settings. Uh, it's something that should be visible right in here and not be uh, not visible at all as forget password or don't have an account doesn't suggest skip. Now does it Samsung? 
So yeah, um, and when you try to do this, also gives you this, like I said, reverse psychology kind of bullshit here uh, with um, why do you need a Samsung account? And the simple answer is you don't. You don't need it, Samsung, so start bullshitting people. And going over the options that you have right here, uh, we have find your device uh, if uh, you're lost uh, or you're, they are lost. So this is something that a lot of these things is what Google offers and Samsung just, for instance, removes and substitutes with their own. So you don't need it, but Samsung made it more annoying for you to actually uh, require you to to log in in order to utilize some of the options that they just completely removed from Android because of you. Um, so yeah, one of those would be the uh, finding the device, uh, sign into apps and websites, uh, which are biometrics. Again, you can do that without the account. Uh, track exercises, again, you can just do that with Google uh, options, sync apps uh, and settings across all your devices. I don't know if Google does this as an Android. Uh, I th partially it does this, but I don't know to what extent uh, the Samsung one will go through this. So. That is one that might be iffy. Uh, copy and paste between your phone, uh, tablet, and computer. I think this one is unique, though. Newer Androids, I think, have that as well nowadays. Um, and then we have uh, make and receive calls from your tablet. Can, kind of redundant. That's what the phone is for. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to skip this as none of them really tickle my pickle. So, to me, this is just all bloatware malware from Samsung. We have Samsung services uh, or legal services, information, whatever. So we have terms and conditions. You do need to ta agree to this one. Uh, you can tap on details again, read what you're agreeing to. Rest are optional, so do not check those on. If it's optional, do not agree to it. Next, we have uh, Samsung services, uh, some permissions, so customization services, Samsung. So not sure what kind of customization you get in here. Uh, go over this, read it. I'm just gonna go to the next page. We have uh, next the theme for your device, light or dark mode. Whichever one you like, select it. And we're done. So let's click on finish and this will now take us to the home screen. There we go, have later. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.